Hello there, hi, good morning, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. Now, <laughs> I'm sure many of you will recognise this. And those of you who don't, this is Tool. This is Onoma, the second album from Tool. And this has been requested by Brian Schlamp, who uh, emailed me back in January um, to talk about working my way through the Tool albums. Um, of course, we are doing that. We started uh, last month with uh, Undertow. And we're carrying on now with Onoma. So I have ripped this to my computer because it's much easier to play it that way. Um, and it, there's a heck of a lot of tracks on here. Some of these I know for certain I've heard. Uh, so I'll just quickly run through the track listing uh, for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure you all do. Stink Fist, Eulogy, H, 46 and 2, Message to Harry Manback, Hooker with the Penis, Intermission, Jimmy, Die... What's that? Die Ele von Satan. Push It... Sezo, Some Ability, Onoma, Irons, Third Eye. Now, I can't rem I, I do obviously know I've listened to a lot of these, but I cannot remember. Or a uh, Let's think. Push It. Absolutely, we listened to quite recently. That was a live version of. And I... Was it? Did it turn up on a mixtape as well? I can't remember. Anyway, this will be broken up into various uh, videos because there's way too many to have on one thing. Um, due to copyright issues, it will get blocked. So I'll need to keep it to... I'm going to try five tracks, four or five tracks at a time. So the first bit will be Stink Fist, Eulogy, H46 and 2. Um, and then we have... Some really little short ones in here, which is a shame because the short ones still count as a whole track. Uh, so the, the second video might be a quite short one. So we've got Message to Harry, Man Back, Hooker with a Penis, Intermission, which is like 55 seconds, Jimmy. Uh, so we might get away also, possibly might get uh, Die Ila Von Satan on there as well. Um, then we'll have Push It, Sezo Some Ability, Onoma, Irons. And I think probably Third Eye by as one track by itself. It's a very long one. But everybody knows about Tool. Everybody knows who they are, what they are, who's in the band. At this stage, it is um, Justin Chancellor in there. Um, so... Oh, what was he called? Paul, uh, I could say Paul Diano. Different, different. Paul Demore, I think was the bass player before. Uh, not Paul Diano. Uh, so, yeah, Justin Chancellor is in place now. Adam Jones on the drums, Danny Carey, and of course our old friend Mallard quacking away on the vocals. Um, the best thing to do is just to crack on and listen to some music. So, here we go. This is Stink Fist. Three, two, one, go. It's been a while.
such a good groove. Trademark sound. <laughs> Picture of Bill Hicks. Another dead hero. Interesting how the sound opens up there, isn't it? time since I've heard some of these tracks.
such deliberately paced, slow build, isn't it? She wasn't singing through that sort of um, megaphone. I don't like that vocal. I really don't. But it's all part of the texture. This does actually feel like a very natural progression from undertow to this. You consider the I don't know, so the monumental change when they went to uh, Lateralis.
is a monster. He really is. That drumming. Woo. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. H. I remember. I don't remember the song, but I remember the conversation around this. Is it a song about heroin? Is it a song about... Um... Maynard's son. Is it a song about all sorts of that? I can't remember. Lots of different theories. Such clever, inventive playing by everyone in the band. Nothing about it is standard. Straightforward. Which is what goes a long way to making this music so unique. Yeah. 
I remember this. In my mind, are you going to shoot me down for this? Tool are less related to metal than they are to some really, I don't know, sort of psychedelic y, almost sort of right, really hard, not indie, that's the wrong word. From the 80s, there were some incredible bands that. Maybe sort of like goth bands and stuff. They used to make these incredible sounds with the guitars, which are sort of quite far removed from metal. A bit like Adam Jones was doing in there. I don't know. Forty-six and two. Recognise this. I really recognise that riff. weird thing about um, the way the vocals are recorded a lot of the time they're just sort of hidden disappear into the background a bit like when um, he's on stage as well hides in the shadows now I can hear him
God, this is such a good song. When you listen to sort of prog, rock, metal, <laughs> oh, God. Jesus! <sighs> I was about to say, often when you listen to this stuff, how the hell does the band know where they are on a track? It's unbelievable! Absolutely unbelievable! Message to Harry. Man back. I think we need to move on and listen to some more tracks. So, with a little bit of luck, that last little bit was uh, will be on this video. If not, I'll have to start the next one with that on there. The message to Harry Manbeck. Manbeck. Not quite sure what that was about. It uh, sounded like uh, someone who's very, very angry with somebody and uh, sending a not even a veiled threat. Not even a veiled threat. Oh. Anyway. I don't, I'm not surprised it's a great album. Of course it's a great album. It's flipping tool. Um, I've got to look back. Should I just quickly do it now? Look back through my previous videos. Uh, that feature said band. Content. Search my videos for tool. Okay, so three years ago, Hooker with a Penis. 
And then pull that sort of fear inoculum stuff on there. Uh, schism. Eulogy. I have listened to Eulogy. Okay. Four, four years ago. H. It's four years ago. 46 and 2. Five years ago. My God. Okay. So... I've heard I've heard a lot of these before, but as I say, not for a long, long time, and certainly not in order. I hope you're enjoying this. I'll see you on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim. Over and out.